Well, hello everyone. My name is Nathan Hall and I grew up at Crossroads. I uh, also grew up at Hell's Chapel. That's actually the church that I was uh, baptized at. Uh, and I've grown up here and have uh, learned how to do ministry here, grew up in student ministry, and it's just been a privilege to, to, to be formed and shaped by this church that has done so much good work in our community and for the kingdom of God. And I also worked here uh, starting in 2013. I worked here for about four years and was the worship pastor for uh, for that during that time. And it was just a, a wonderful chance. Uh, you gave you you the congregation of Crossroads gave a very young leader a chance uh, to. Uh, really cut my teeth in a lot of ways in ministry. And I'm just forever grateful for how uh, you trusted me and uh, let me um, help us all worship together during that season. It was just a beautiful time. And uh, I, I will always look back on my time in ministry as Crossroads being one of those forming things uh, that really helped get me experience, um, know what ministry is really like, and also just uh, the love that a church can give uh, to their staff and to their community. And I uh, always felt so loved and, and honored, uh, even as a young leader and respected as a young leader. And I, for that, I will be forever grateful. In ministry, a lot of people think that they have an experience like Moses, where there's this burning bush uh, kind of experience. But for me, it wasn't like that. It was more of a leading. It was uh, kind of what the Psalms say, that the, the, the Word of God is like a lamp to our feet and light to our path, right? And a lamp only shows one little step at a time. And that's kind of what happened to me. It was just taking step by step, seeing older uh, folks and um, mentors around me, seeing their faith and encouraging me in my faith, but just taking that daily step of surrender walking like walking towards Jesus every single time uh, and that's kind of how I was led into ministry and realized that my giftings and uh, my personality would fit well in working for God's church and the person that really helped me get that uh, get that way was Kit Dotson Kit was one of the single most influential people in my life I, I don't know who I would be today without Kit. Dotson. Um, I, I know, I know when, when Curtis decided to step out of student ministry, I think my mom like pulled him aside one Sunday morning and just like wanted to smack him, uh, for, for leaving student ministry, literally the year that I was getting ready to go into youth group. Then Kit showed up and the rest is history. And so Kit always told us, you know, it's about intimacy with Christ, uh, a daily surrender with the Lord. And that's kind of how I got led into ministry and realizing that, man, I love God church and I love Jesus and I want to serve uh, his, his bride, his church for the rest of my life. Some of the times that formed me the most were really the, mo the more simple times. Wednesday nights in the garage, leading worship, playing in the praise band, hanging out with uh, all of the youth sponsors, and it just, it really was a community. Um, and th that really formed my experience because it, it showed us that everybody had a place, that no one was left out. Sometimes on a deeper level, one of the, one of the things I remember uh, is the spiritual disciplines retreat that we did out at Camp ACC. And that's where our, our, the scriptures really came alive to me. That it was not just words on a page, but the living, breathing word of God in a way that could change a heart and change a life and it changed mine. And I look back on all those experiences with just tremendous gratitude because of how faithful God was, even in these little tiny moments that I just thought were hanging out or just playing, playing some worship songs with my friends. But it really formed who I am and what I do. I just, I love that so much. When Curtis approached me to take the position of worship pastor right after I was graduating from Milligan, one of the things that I was nervous about was, would this church let me lead or would they just see me as little Nathan? And maybe some of that happened, uh, and I think some of that is okay. But for the most part, um, the, thing, the thing that I experienced going from congregation member to staff member was that people trusted me even as a 22 year old and uh, let me fail <laughs> and uh, let me make uh, mistakes. But working in this church, what it showed me is that one, the church isn't perfect, 
but two, that the grace of the Lord is real and um, that God's church truly is plan A for this world. That, that's what he's left us with. And so uh, the thing that I, I, I loved about my time here is I got to work with some of those people who formed me um, and be peers with them. And that was just, uh, and they always treated me with respect and loved, loved my ideas um, and uh, took me seriously. And that makes the world a difference. I was also ordained by this church. That was a critical moment for me very early on uh, in my ministry. The elders of this church laid their hands on me, blessed me, and, and empowered me to do God's work. And, and that will be, a for, I, I actually have uh, the ordination certificate that I was given on that Sunday uh, hanging in my office. Uh, even now, and it goes it goes into every office that I'll ever have. And it's just a reminder for me that this this church is the one that sent me out, put me on mission, and gave me a purpose. And and I'm so grateful for that for the time that I was able to spend here as a staff member. The longevity that Clint and Curtis and Tempa have had here. Uh, you just don't see that anymore. It just, the amount of faithfulness that it takes to stay in one place for long seasons of ministry, it truly is inspirational to young leaders like me to not be swayed one way or the other uh, by the comings and goings of life um, and how hard it is. Ministry is so hard sometimes, but it just I, I truly had learned a lot from them on how to stay faithful even when things are hard. I love this church. It's the church that led me to Jesus. It's the church that let me find who I am in ministry. And I love this church because one, it's not perfect. There's been some really, really, really hard things that have happened in our history over the last 20 years. And the church isn't perfect, we know that, but one of the things that just means so much to me about this congregation is that while things were difficult sometimes, seasons were hard, you always led with the grace of Jesus. You always showed compassion when everyone else said you should show anger. You chose joy when there were moments that you could have been stressed out. You chose community, connection to God's church and to the, to the, to the family of God and the community of God over division. And I pray that as for the next 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, when all of us who are watching this video are long gone, that you would continue to, to let the word of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to one another. But just like the Apostle Paul says in that verse, that, that passage in Colossians, but in everything you do, in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. And I think if Crossroads continues to do that, put Jesus first, let the community uh, of Christ be the thing that shows gray in the Tri-Cities what compassion and mercy and grace is about. Crossroads has a bright future ahead, and I know it will. And so blessings to you, my church family, um, and uh, I, I love you so much. Thank you.